Hey everybody and welcome back to another Thrift With Me video. In this video, Erin and I went over to an antique store in Mount Dora, Florida. I can't remember the name of this place. Uh, so if I remember, like I'll put it in the description down below if I can find the information. But all I remember is that they are very pricey at this store. And it's probably because Mount Dora is more of like a touristy area. So yeah, I guess they feel they can do that. But uh, it's pretty pricey if you want to um, try and shop the antiques as like a reseller. So they did have a lot of really cool things to look at. So much pretty glass in this store. But it was just a lot of the prices I couldn't touch. I ended up getting, I think it was four things this this particular trip and I spent I think about $60 on four things so my average cost was a little high this trip but anyways I'm gonna play a little bit of music and you guys will be able to shop along with me and see what I see I really like this. It's one of the bedside decanters because it's Mexican pottery. Oh my gosh, it's $20. I'm gonna keep that in mind. $15. I love it. Then I have something similar to this at home. It's just, I, that doesn't have a maker on it either, so I'm not sure. That's pretty. 25 hand blown art vase. I like when I come and I see things that maybe I've had before bought and sold, but I didn't really know much about it. And I can get some information. And then sometimes I know the information and they don't really, you know, they didn't have it marked. Metlocks Pottery Lamb, $89.95. You are very cute, Mr. Lamb. Very cute. 
Look at all the little things. Look at the poodles. Now poodles can do pretty well on eBay, depending on their color and things like that. They do pretty well, but um, that's about probably what I could get for it. And it's missing its babies. So both of them are. So I'm gonna leave those. These are pretty. Little trinket boxes. I like those. And these, these are, um, they're Avon, they're Day of the Living Dead. But you know who makes something like this? Talavera pottery. It's a Mexican pottery. These are like a ceramic, no, not a ceramic, um, a resin. But they make the, like, Halloween ones. And it's so, they're so cool. Let's see, Bohemian Amethyst Crystal Mug. Oh, I bet that's pretty in the light, but I don't want to take that out. I really like this little drink a jar. Very nice. We got some precious moments. Some of these do okay, but for the most part, they've really come down on what they were worth. Um, back in the day, it's a cute little cat box. It's like a whole cat shelf. These little guys, little squirrel. What's this guy back here? Oh, it's one of the African carved stone pieces. Those are really nice. Fragile, but nice. person has some cool stuff look at all these little guys now those are Harajuku perfume bottles by Gwen Stefani that ended up being pretty collectible that guy's cute that's actually kind of cute too I like that dog now there's some really cool stuff in these Cabinets. Oh, hello, kitty. Look at those. Oh, mama. 
Wow. Look at the frog back there. And the turtle. See, these are not Murano glass. These are made in the style of Murano, but people write straight up Murano on there. Because it even says on the sticker, it's art like Murano. <laughs> so, yeah. But they sell it like as if it was Murano prices, you know, like. That's a cool vase. Look at that. $2.25. Really neat. What do I have up here? That's pretty. What do they call that? Paperweight bottle. Wouldn't that just be a perfume bottle? Who's this guy? See, and I learned that it, when it's Murano, apparently that was broken right there. But the Millie Fiori. It's very crisp and clear. It's not all blurry and globby. So, but they didn't say on there that it was Murano. So, <laughs> look at these. I love these mirrors. Look at that. Nineteen oh four. Where did it go? $55. And look at the box. You never see the box. Oh, I love those. Fifty percent off all marked. Wait, off mark? Oh, candlesticks in glass. Oh, I love that. It's twelve fifty. I love that, it's so cute. 14, as is Victorian cream and sugar. As is, oh, it's got a little chip. That's beautiful. It's pretty good prices, not too bad. All right, oh, I had one of these before. These are really cool. They're made out of a little stone. These are great little handmade dolls. We have like a ginger jar. It's probably from like the 80s. Yeah. Beautiful enamel. Alright, switch back to editing me. I have a question for you guys. Could you guys, if you're comfortable with it, leave in the comments down below your favorite antique store in your local area? Maybe there's some other viewers that live nearby that never knew about this particular antique store. So if you could leave that down below, that would be fantastic. Go ahead and give your, your favorite store a shout out and that would be great. Also, don't forget about our live sales on Fridays and Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's where you'll see a lot of the things that are in the shop with me and in the haul videos. So be sure to check back for that. If you want, you can come follow us over on Instagram. We'd love to have you there. Erin is Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And I'm simply Chapter 2 Vintage Co. All right, guys, don't forget to leave that thumbs up before you go. Even if you don't have a favorite store, drop a heart down below. That's fine too. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.